mighty most deaf. It's simple mathematics. Check it out. What's good, y'all? It's your basketball game of the Warrants of Prince of Picks at your service. Here with the Sports Betting Insiders giving you my NBA best bets for Saturday, December 23rd, 2023. Uh, we're going to go with a little bit different format today. I'm giving you a, a buffet of games, about five different games, uh, with about one or two bets per game uh, that I feel really good about. Uh, and uh, we're going to smash these books today. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting into it. So without further ado, let's start with the Charlotte Hornets hosting the Denver Nuggets. Uh, for this game, I am taking the Hornets plus nine and a half. Uh, Twelve of the 15 Nuggets road games this season have been decided by single digits. Uh, conversely, seven of the last 10 Hornets home games have also been decided by single digits. So you have 80% uh, of Nuggets road games, single digits, 70% of the Hornets last 10 home games also decided by single digits. Um, the Nuggets, 43% ATS as a road favorite, 33% uh, ATS with a rest disadvantage. Uh, and as you recall, they played the uh, Brooklyn Nets last night in a tough game, went down to the wire. Um, you know, and a lot of these players today in, in today's league, they, they don't always give maximum effort on back-to-backs, uh, you know, especially when those back-to-backs are on the road. Uh, they look more for, you know, to make business decisions and uh, to preserve the longevity of their career. So uh, there's an opportunity here. You might get a dud or two from some of these Nuggets players. Uh, therefore, with all that being said, I am taking the Hornets plus nine and a half. Next up, we are going to New Orleans where the New Orleans Pelicans are hosting the Houston Rockets. Uh, for this match, I am taking the New Orleans Pelicans team total over 113.5. Uh, the Rockets, as good as they are defensively at home, they are 17th, bottom half of the league defensively on the road, uh, allowing 117 points per game. Uh, on the other side, the Pelicans are averaging 117 points per game at home. Uh, you know, the Rockets are on a back-to-back. -back. The Pelicans have a rest advantage. And, uh, you know, so I'm going to take the Pelicans team total over 113 and a half. That gives me a three-point buffer, um, you know, which is three points less than what the Rockets allow defensively on the road. And it's also three points less than what the Pelicans average at home. So uh, with that buffer, I, I love that bet, and I will be smashing that one. Uh, next up, we are going to Atlanta, where the Atlanta Hawks are hosting the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, for this game, I am taking John ja Morant over five and a half points in the first quarter. Uh, the Atlanta Hawks are 30th place, dead last in the league, in giving up first quarter points at home. They average 33 points against uh, at home in the first quarter. Um, and that's actually interesting because they, they actually give up more points at home than they do on the road. They're averaging 32 points against on the road in first quarters, but 33 at home, which is interesting. But nevertheless, they are a terrible defensive team. Uh, the worst in the league in first quarters. I look for John Morant. To look on the other side and see Trey Young, you know, that's going to get him going. And he's going to want to come out and set the tone right away. This Memphis team needs every win they can get. You know, they buried themselves in the standings. And for them to have any type of, you know, hope to be relevant for at least a play-in spot, you know, every game is going to be treated as a playoff game. I think they all understand the urgency. And I look for John Morant to be the leader uh, and, and set the tone right away in this game. Uh, again, over 5.5 points first quarter. I will also be taking John Morant over 27.5 points for the full game. Um, again, you know, the urgency of this game, uh, you know, he's required to score. He's needed to score. To, and, and that's what the Grizzlies have really been struggling at without him is offensively. So uh, he knows that. And I look for him to uh, really have a big game against a soft Atlanta defense. Uh, next up, we are going to Brooklyn, where the Brooklyn Nets are hosting the 24 loss in a row Detroit Pistons. Uh, will the streak end tonight? Not sure. But I will take the Pistons plus nine and a half. Uh, the Nets have lost five in a row. Um, they have an under 500 record for the season. Um, and they had a tough game against Denver last night. You know, going on a back-to-back, -back, um, you know, against a Pistons team that you would have to presume is the hungrier team, right? Nobody wants to be the team to lose to the Pistons, but I think even more so the Pistons want to win. And they want to win in the worst way. So I have to presume that they're always going to be the hungrier team uh, no matter who they play. And uh, to me, you know, this is a game that they can be competitive in, um, you know, given the circumstances, uh, again, especially with Brooklyn on the back-to-back. -back. Um, and, you know, I can't lay double digits with Brooklyn right now. Not in the form that they're in. I just can't lay it. So uh, I'm writing Pistons plus 9.5. I will also be taking Cade Cunningham over 23.5 points. Uh, he has averaged 32 points per game in the last three games. Uh, he's really come on uh, as of late, and uh, he's going to need to score for this Pistons team to stay competitive. Uh, so that's kind of correlated to the Pistons 9.5. If 
For that to happen, I believe Cade Cunningham has to get over 23.5. So I will be writing both bets for this game. Uh, finally, we're going to head to Oklahoma City, where the Thunder are hosting the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, for this game, I am on Thunder, minus 3.5. Uh, Thunder are currently 80% ATS at home. Whereas the Lakers are 30% or sorry, 37% ATS on the road. Uh, and quite frankly, this Thunder team is just a better team. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they have a great home environment. One of the best home environments in the league. Uh, that crowd gets lit. Uh, you know, those fans are nuts there. And, you know, I, I, once the Thunder get rolling, they're a hard team to stop at home. Um, you know, and the Lakers, they got a lot of guys who are questionable for this game. LeBron, AD, they've been questionable for every game this season. But you also have Rui Hachimura, Jared Vanderbilt, Gabe Vincent. Uh, so, you know, the, whether they play or not, I still like the Thunder, but that gives you more incentive to the fact that they're questionable. Uh, it gives me more incentive to take a Thunder minus 3.5. Again, I just think flat out they're the better team. So uh, those are going to be my plays for tonight. Uh, you make sure to follow me on social media on X at Principix10. You can also follow me on TikTok at Lock It Up Sports. And then make sure to follow, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on our YouTube channel, Sports Betting Insiders. Uh, that's going to do it for me today. Uh, let's crash these books. Let's smash it. Let's cash out all our tickets. And I will see you all tomorrow to cover the Christmas Day games. So mathematics. Mighty most definitely. It's simple mathematics.